ladies and gentlemen, it's time to make the law of attraction work for you. It's time to get the universe on your side and actually allow yourself to feel like it, to feel like you're moving towards your promised land. Today is all about the secret and forgotten art of release. My name's Ben, welcome to Elevate. If you've got dreams you wanna to manifest, today is for you. Come on, let's kick on into it. Well, thank you so much for tuning in today, folks. If it's your first time here, I'm so glad you found the channel. I'm blessed by the time we spend together, so please, subscribe, join the family. Don't forget to share the videos around because I put videos like this out every single day of the week. But today, folks, I wanted to talk with you about the forgotten art of release. You know, on this channel, we often talk about manifesting with the law of attraction. We talk about how to make our dreams come true, how to get to that point in our life where we cross the threshold into our promised land. And something that is super, super powerful to see us make that transition is the art of effective release. And yet this is something that not so many people are talking about and that can be very, very difficult to do. I guess that's why not many people talk about it. But folks, I'm going to show you a way today. I'm going to teach you about release. I'm going to teach you about its importance and show you how you can release your dreams and not feel like you've let go of them, but feel like they are safe in the hands of the universe. Isn't that what we're here for? Aren't we here to live an anointed life, a life where we can manifest our dreams, where we're in the vortex of rapid manifestation. We are in fact inhabiting our promised land. Folks, the story of walking around in the wilderness for 40 years is not the story of your life or my life. The story of our life is one of rapid manifestation, is one of favour, of unparalleled blessing. But to get there, there's a few things we have to learn. And release is key to getting there. Now, how come people don't talk about release that much? It's simply because people struggle with release. I'm talking about releasing your dreams. I'm not talking about releasing fears. Releasing fears is a great liberating experience. I'm talking about releasing your dreams. I'm talking about letting go of everything you've held dear for so long. I'm talking about releasing the dreams that are still down in your heart that nobody else even knows about. Dreams that matter to you so much. So how do you let them go? Why do we have to let them go? Isn't this counterintuitive, I hear you asking me? Well, stick with me, folks, because this will hold water and this will release you into your promised land. You see, what tends to happen in the human experience is we have a dream. We have something we aspire to, something we see intrinsic value and worth in, and it aligns with us. For some of us, it might be a life path, a career path. For some of us, it might be to do with relationship, it might be relational. For some of us it might be building our family, for some of us it might be building a business, for some of us it might be being philanthropic. But we all have dreams, and all of our dreams are different. And because we care about our dream, we are very careful with our dream. Now that makes sense, doesn't it? Your dream might be to be the next president of the United States of America. My dream might simply be to be the best dad I can. Those two dreams could not be more further opposed, and yet they both have such significance. They both hold such weight in the lives of the person who matters. So you see, folks, it doesn't matter what your dream is. It doesn't matter what label you put on it. It doesn't matter what label the rest of the world put on it. What matters is your ability to release it in one very particular and one very effective way. Because what happens is when we say we need to release this thing to manifest it, people go, well, I can't release that. I can't release this, 
this dream of winning millions of dollars, this dream of having a baby, this dream of this beautiful, perfect relationship, this dream of sound mental health and a healthy, restored body. But folks, releasing it is what will allow it to come to you, and here's why. When we value something highly, when something to us has great intrinsic worth, we tend to lock it away and put it up high on a pedestal. Let's give you an example of this that will really help you to understand. Do you remember your high school days? Do you remember your first crush? Boy, you really like that person. Do you remember that? Do you remember those feelings and the, the newness of love and the excitement of those feelings? And maybe this didn't happen in your life, but I bet for sure you saw it happening in the schoolyard, even on reflection. Someone likes someone so much, they almost begin to worship them. They, they put them up on a pedestal, they elevate them up onto a pedestal and they, they worship them and they, they say, you're so much bigger and better and stronger and I'm nothing without you. And they, they sort of, they have to have that relationship and they idolize them and their, their energy field gets all mixed up. And when you stand back and you look at that interaction from a third person perspective, you can see how that boy putting that girl up on a pedestal is pushing her away. She doesn't want to be treated like that. She wants to be treated as an equal. She wants to be loved and respected and honored as an equal. And you can see that, can't you? You can see that so clearly. If you go to a high school today and look in the playground and find the emerging relationships, you will see boys or girls putting the other up on a pedestal and you can see the energy driving the other away and yet in our own lives we do the same thing and we wonder why that thing that we love bolts away from us. You cannot approach what you want to manifest in that energy. You cannot approach what you want to manifest with the energy of desperation. Oh, I don't know if it's ever going to happen. I'm so confused. I need you to, I need, I need help. I need guidance. I need this. I need that. I'm not sure. And I don't know. Folks, that has to stop. And it has to stop now. You will never come into your promised land when your energy field is like that. What you're doing is putting that person, that manifestation, that job, that relationship up on a pedestal and driving it away from you. This is why release is key. So do you know that you can effectively release someone? You can effectively release something. Whatever it is, anything that you desire, that dream that you hold so dear, you can release it into the hands of the universe and know that it is safe. You can release it, but not let go of it. Folks, understand me here loud and clear. I'm not telling you to let go of your dreams. And if someone has told you to let go of your dreams, flush their voice repeating that in your mind down the toilet. Never let go of your dreams. Simply release them. Release them into the safety of the hands of God. Release them into the safety of the energy of the angels. Release them to the universe. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot manifest that thing. But God and his angels and the universe can deliver that thing to you. So you must release it to them so that they can do the work and deliver it to you. While you're holding on to it so tightly, the universe can't say, here you go. So you say to the universe, I want this thing. I want it so badly. But you know what? No doubt everything is unfolding as it should. It's safer in your hands than mine. So universe, I release it to you. I let it go to you. Not entirely. I just let it go to you. I know there is no safer place for my dream than in the hands of God. So release your dream to the universe. Take a few moments every night when your head is on the pillow just to reset. This is where the power is. As you're drifting off to sleep, reset your energy field. Have a quick word with the universe. Have a quick natter in God's ear and say, God, for those times today where I've taken this dream back, 
and I've taken on this energy and this, this panic of not letting go, I'm sorry. I just consciously make a decision right now to release this to you, not to anyone else, not to anything else. I still believe and declare that this is for me, but it's safer, God, in your hands than it is in mine. So you deliver this back to me in your perfect timing, and until then, I'm going to sit in the pocket of growing into the best person I can be, so that when you deliver it to me, I can actually really enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the forgotten art of release when it comes to manifesting with the law of attraction. If you can release, if you can let go in this way, the universe will now deliver back to you your dreams and you will track towards becoming the person who can responsibly hold them. So get out there and give it a go, folks. I love you so much. I hope this has blessed you. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Come back again tomorrow. I'd love to see you then. God bless you. Peace.